Hello everybody, what's up? Cedric and Cedric here, CR Wrestling Commentary. We'll be reviewing New Japan Pro Wrestling's G1 Climax 34, Day 13, or Night 13 as they putting it, because it does take place at night. I'm used to the old school. It's a day. Um, so look, I'm I'm used, I'm a little bit under the weather, so I'm gonna let Cedric headline most of this. Whew. Um, I got notes, and I'll read those notes and whatnot. And, I don't know. So we got A block action today. And it starts with Callum Newman versus Tetsuya Naito. And I thought, how low is Callum Newman for Naito to be opening? And Newman attacked Naito while in his entrance attire. Then I had to note that that was usually reserved for heated rivals against Naito. Cedra wanted to skip. We both notice how Newman moves like Osprey and Omega and his opponent has to wait for him to go through those motions and then the move. Yes. Nope. Nope. Go ahead. I, it's, I, we've seen it so much. We're so sick of it. And it's like, okay, I'm sure you may have a ton of respect for Will Osprey, and that's great, but good grief. It's tiresome and I just don't want to watch it anymore. So we skipped it and watched Naito land the Destino, a good one. And he kicked out. No, nah, that, that wasn't a good one, but he landed no, Destino. Yeah, he, he landed out. one. Yeah. And then he got then he got his the way he should, should do it. Yeah. Good, solid, and he got the win. And still, Newman, to me, ain't earned the ability to kick out a delayed out Destino. So next we get Great Khan versus Sonata. And this was a damn good match. I mean, it's so close it, to five stars. It was so good. It was so good watching Okan do what he should be doing. He was getting his counter on. This was up to dice rolls. He kept rolling the 20s, man. It was great. <laughs> My notes was Okan performed a dragon screw leg whip countering a shining wizard. Um, he hit the Dominator for the pin. Okan needed this win, his third match against Sonata, and he won. He lost the other ones, and now he stays in point contention. Yep. It looked good. So now we got A block. Well, you got to say a line about Sonata. What? Oh, oh, Sonata can do no wrong, man. I know he lost. Okan was due. It was like he was due for a win against Sonata, and he was due for another win in the G1. So I get that. But Sonata is unchanged. He, he can do no wrong. So now we got Shota Umino versus Jake Lee. And I wrote this is a very competitive match uh, with both doing a ton of work. Yeah. The match ends with Lee's front kick in the corner and pin. Um, Umino, as we said about him, he he uh, he's trying to find himself. If it hadn't have been for his encounter with Goon, Cedric made this comment. His entrance from the outside was good. His attire looks great. He walked in past all the production staff. I mean, his pink and, and white pants and his batons, all that's great. But you can't call yourself a roughneck and do that. And then they call you a shooter. I don't know what you're shooting on. It's just those things don't fit. And I, I'm guessing that he feels, you know. A, a lot of privilege or, or uh, appreciation, that's a better word, appreciation for having Goon pay any attention him, to him whatsoever because he's supposed to be this great wrestler, which he isn't. But I'm just hoping that Shota, he's very emotional in the ring. He's expressionate. He talks. He yells. He does things that his idols, I'm guessing they're his idols, Tanahashi and Okada don't do. So I'm, I'm confident that maybe he will fall back on is it his 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 own internal drive to further enhance and develop who he is as a wrestler and be able to leave some of that uh, that fandom of of previous other wrestlers behind that's all i want to say okay next we get more a block action we get gabe kidd wow. versus zach zaber jr uh and this was a damn great match. It was. They it got was their finishes, match. but never rebuilt. 
So that kept it from being five stars. They weren't the fans and each other the whole time. Zach battled Gabe's match and then turned it into his match. Zach wins with a scissor leg double arm trap sleeper choke. Referee stopped the match. Um, and this is after a Zach driver and whatnot. They, and the rebound 180 lariat, they did everything. Yeah, it, you know, Gabe just wants the, the hard hitting matches. You know, Zach very rarely goes to the outside the way Gabe go, does. So I'm sure Gabe had to make some kind of compromise because Zach wasn't doing that. So they did the excessive chops, the excessive slaps. Zach was all red from his neck down to the bottom of his pecs. His, his chest looked like hamburger meat. As that's he's gonna need some some neosporin for that man. It, it looked bad, um, you know. And Zach is a heavier dude now, so he met Gabe where he was. But when it was time for Zach to wrestle Zach's match, there was nothing that Gabe Kid could do about it. He just had to take it. He couldn't even tap out. He just went to sleep, and he was finally quiet. It was a pleasure. <laughs> No notes on this last one. Main event, Evil versus Shingo Takagi. It was, was a dragon. Oh, that was all over the place. At, Shingo didn't even get out of his gear. No. Nope. He got out there and, and I think he got attacked by Dick first, right? Dick got in there. <laughs> Dick got in there. But, you know, they jump started the match, Dick and Evil. Eventually, Shingo gets out of his, his opening attire, get into the ring. And he's at the disadvantage, he's trying to come back. It turns more into a wrestling match, and then Dick gets reinvolved. Uh, I think uh, Red Shoes got crushed in the corner. Dick gets in, then messes Shingo up, and then Bushi run in. Oh, sweet, uh, almost. Uh, uh, Tana, Takahashi, what's his name? The little dude with the red hair. Hiromu. Hiromu, thank you. Uh, little Hiromu, Hiromu. Hiromu ran in, trying to assist. Because, you know, he still don't like evil and he shouldn't. He gets dispatched with. And then after that, Bushi runs in and starts attacking uh, uh, Shingo. And but Bushi quiet, didn't look right. <laughs> the crowd got so quiet. The crowd got quiet like, are you kidding me? But Bushi didn't look right. I'm like, Bushi don't dress like that even when he's out there chilling. Yep. And you can see all this little, little narrow lower leg and he had sneakers on. And my brain thought that's Nobu, but I didn't say it out loud just yet. And then he does the taunt. And then Bushi gets in the ring like, Save my man! What's your name? <laughs> and he attacks the other Bushi. Starts pulling at the mask. And then pull the mask off. And it's Nobu! <laughs> this mask, this match was a train wreck. And then the, the actual Bushi got dispatched with. And then it was Nobu and Dick and Evil beating on, time, uh, on, on Shingo. And Shingo wouldn't stay down. I he mean, he was to, barely fighting back, but he won't give enough. He won't give enough. They drove the ref in there. He tried to get the pin. Evil tried to get the pin. He didn't kick out. He put Darkness Falls on, tried to get the pin. He didn't kick out. I think Dick got involved about two more times, and so did Nobu. Now, he it did was, kick out. Yeah. You're he, saying he didn't kick oh, out. Oh, I'm sorry. He kicked out. My bad. He kicked out. And there was whiskey spit and hit with whiskey bottles, and then Bushi sprayed Evil in the face. It was a train wreck. And I'm match. like, where is Naito and Suji? I'm like, well, they're the higher paid ones. They ain't coming out. That's how um, I saw that. They, no one came out that had a match. I know. It's jacked up. Like, look, you already warmed up. Come out and help. That's your peoples. They might have left the arena for all we know. <laughs> yeah, good point. <laughs> hey, man, I'm done. I got to heal up for the next one. See you. <laughs> But eventually, like I said, Bushi sprayed the black mist, um, got evil good in the face, real good. Shingo cinched him up, last of the dragon, and that was called. Yep. And he gets the win. And it, it it was a as a heel, run in, beat down, and fighting against all odds. That would be a five star match. Yeah. But in truth, this this was I would say four, maybe four and a half, because it was that level of entertaining and difficulty. Yeah, and although Shingo didn't, he wasn't able to be full Shingo because he was fighting an uphill battle the whole time. There were very few bombers. I think we saw a sliding bomber and a couple of pumping bombers. No corner bombers. No punches. <laughs> no punching and and chopping the corners. So you know. <sighs> But Shingo won, and 
you know, he's talking to the crowd and talking about, you know, I'm 41, but I'm going to still dream to, to win this G1. Because, you know, the whole theme is, you know, if you're 40, you're old and look, get out of the way. And it's like, psh. He's like, man, I can still go. For real. And uh, he thanked his compatriots and Bushi and Manu- not God, I want to say Minoru, Hiromu for having his back. And they did the whole L.I.J. taunt thing and it was cool. It was nice. Mm-hmm. I was enjoying it. And um, that that's going to do it, everybody. So we hope you're enjoying this. They're taking a day off, and we get to take a day off, too. And later, after I wake up, hopefully I feel better, I'll be able to read uh, some of the comments and stuff that's been left. But I just don't have it right now. So this has been Cedric Cedric for CR Wrestling Commentary, New Japan Pro Wrestling, G1 Climax 34, Day 13. And with that, we want you all to be cool, be chill, be safe. So that we can see you next time.